Hey, hey guys, good morning. I'm having some cherries, so I'm gonna have this whole bowl of cherries, and then I was going through the apricots here too, because I wanna see which ones are ripe and ready to go. These are the ones we just got at Costco yesterday, and they look good, so there's a couple there I'll have. Most of these, I think, will start getting more ripe tomorrow. Yep. All right, so I'll just have a couple apricots. Hey guys, just got home, did a little grocery shopping. We went to Costco and Sprouts, so I'm well stocked for the next several days. Uh, so we got some Kara Kara oranges and organic sliced frozen peaches from Costco. And then also this big container of spinach. That's gonna be awesome for green smoothies. And then I got um, the rest at Sprouts. So the cilantro, I already cut the ends and put them in a glass of water because that's how I store them in the fridge. This helps it to last longer. And then we got, oh yeah, we got a honeydew melon at Costco go to and then I got more of these sweet red apricots these are so good We've got those uh, sprouts more of the purple cauliflower I love that I'm gonna do some cauliflower mash too we've got a couple of sweet potatoes broccoli I love broccoli it's one of my favorite vegetables and it's like one of the number one anti-cancer vegetables that you can possibly eat it is awesome and it's loaded with nutrients oh these oyster mushrooms yes oh my goodness these are so good it's like it's basically like one big mushroom in there it's like a cluster you know and you break it apart throw it in your stir fry so I like the combination of doing the broccoli uh, with the oyster mushroom and mung bean sprouts. So I kind of want to do that tonight. Got some fresh ginger. Um, this is the organic ginger. I just bought one of these because they didn't have the regular loose that they normally do. I uh, got a couple of tomatoes. Onion. Michael likes to get um, his regular little white onions and I love red onions. Oh yeah, we got some medjool dates from Costco too because those were on sale. And Michael got his cereal. He loves these honey grams from Sprouts. They were buy one get one, so he got those. He also got a couple bags of chips that was buy one get one too. And oh, um, some organic celery and red cabbage. So I love red cabbage for using it as uh, taco shells, the leaves, or just slicing it. I mean, I put it in everything. I, I freaking love red cabbage, it's so good. Oh, dandelion greens. Sprouts now has their dandelion greens back in stock. For a while there, it was only Whole Foods, but look at that beautiful, fresh bunch of dandelion greens. Those are gonna be awesome. And then some avocados. Okay, I'm gonna get this all put away and I'll see you guys in just a little bit for lunch. Hey guys, welcome. We're gonna be making a creamy green smoothie. So let's start with our cup of ice, two frozen bananas, I want to be extra creamy. We're going to boost our omega-3s with flax seeds, so I'm going to do one tablespoon of flax. We're going to get a double boost because we're going to do some chia seeds too. So I've got my chia seed gel. I'll add four tablespoons of chia seed gel, which is equivalent to one tablespoon of dry chia seeds. All right, on today's green smoothie menu, we're gonna be making the base with our cucumber and celery up here. There we go, cucumber, celery. And then we've got our leafy greens on the side, so we're gonna do uh, dandelion greens and spinach. And then over here, We've got just a touch, just one slice of ginger, and then I've got a little cluster of fennel. So I use I use the fennel bulb and the leaves. I use all of it. Um, so I just kind of got a mix there, and I've got some mint hiding under here too. So we're gonna do some peppermint in there. The fennel and the peppermint make it really fresh, and it's also really soothing for your digestive system. Okay, let's get all this in there. This is gonna be a large serving, so I couldn't fit the leafy greens in there yet. So I'm just gonna blend this down. I will make room. So I'll add just enough water to get that to blend. Now that we got the main chunky bits done, we're gonna add our leafy greens in now our fennel. That fennel smells really good with the mint. Kind of boosts those phytonutrients. Okay, that's about all we can fit. This is going to be maximum density here. <laughs> maximum <laughs> serving capacity for this Vitamix.
start. That's a really fresh one. Let's see how creamy it is. Oh, that's good. It's good. It's really chilled too. It's a good one. I gotta get back to editing and I'll see you guys in a little while. Hey guys, I'm just making some raw tacos. Just peeling off some shells here for my red cabbage. There we go. Sometimes it just takes a minute for those to release from there. Oh, those are going to be some good ones. So for the filling, I'm going to be using this cauliflower mash. I made this earlier. I didn't end up filming it because I just threw it together really fast. And um, I figured I'll just, I'll just share it with you guys later if you want to see. But it's just a few ingredients. It's just one head of cauliflower. I use the orange cauliflower, but you can use any color you want. The white and purple would be awesome too. And then I used um, half an avocado and then a couple of the heart of palms. I just threw a couple of, of the stems in there. And for spices, I used a dash of onion powder and then the sea seasonings dulse flakes. Um, this just adds like a salty, you know, a little bit of a salty taste without adding actual salt. And it's loaded with iodine. And you can make this in a food processor or the Vitamix. Uh, the Vitamix really blended it up uh, a, little, a little more than I normally would. I normally like a little more texture to it, but this is going to work just fine. So it's almost like a hummus dip is kind of how it how it turns out and you can adjust the texture how you like it. A lot of times people will steam the cauliflower before making the mash, but I didn't do that. I just wanted it raw. So this is, I mean, it whips up just beautifully, you know, raw. So you don't have to steam it if you don't want to. For toppings, I have some red onion. We'll do some tomato and some palm hearts. And then we've got some cilantro. And the other awesome thing about cauliflower mash is it's such a neutral base that you can use any seasonings you want to, you know, spice it up. So you could use paprika, cayenne pepper, if you like a little more spice going on in there. Okay, let's throw a little avocado in here too. This one is super creamy. I'm just gonna throw some chunks on there. Okay, so there's my lunch for today. Raw tacos with cauliflower mash filling. All right guys, I'm gonna sit down and have lunch and I'll see you guys probably for an afternoon smoothie. Hey guys, I'm gonna make an orange Julius with you. So I'm adding just less than a cup of ice, so about three quarters of a cup. So I've got two Cara Cara oranges. We're gonna do two frozen bananas, make it extra creamy. And then our second banana, so we've got two frozen bananas in there. Some peaches. We'll do about one cup of peaches. We're gonna add some Trader Joe's coconut chunks. We'll do four chunks of coconut. Well, actually three, because that one's pretty big, so I'll leave it at that. We're gonna add some lacuma powder, and this is from the brand Nativas, I think Nativas Organic, something like that. Um, so I'm just gonna do one tablespoon of that. Okay, we're gonna do one teaspoon of vanilla. Just enough water to blend it, so we're about right there. creamy and smooth. Mm. This recipe is going to go on my blog for sure. That is pure pleasure right there. All right guys, we're going to make some stir fry for dinner. And I like to cook with water. We have a lovely oyster mushroom here. It's kind of like a oyster mushroom cluster. This is a good meat alternative because they're so meaty. I don't know if you can see there, but the way that they shred apart is like chicken. Well, I, I didn't want to say that, but <laughs> just to show you how meaty they are, that's kind of what they remind you of. Okay, we'll add in the mung bean sprouts. And those just take a minute to cook, so uh, I wait until the very end to put the mung bean sprouts in. Cook it for one minute, 
and then we're done. I'm gonna put a little onion powder in here, but no garlic, because uh, I'm testing out if I can do onion. The garlic didn't work for me. So we'll see how this does. So that's dinner for tonight. Broccoli stir fry with oyster mushrooms and mung bean sprouts. This is all I'm having for dinner tonight because I'm going to be maxed out. I'm, I'm already kind of full still from having that smoothie earlier. So I will see you guys for the chronometer summary this evening. Okay, we're on chronometer.com and I'm just going over my food diary for today. Everything is in there. The only thing that I didn't get on camera was, oh, the Brazil nut that I had at dinner time. And I don't think I got the goji berries or the medjool dates on camera at all. And calorie summary for today, I consumed 1,859 calories. 100% of our nutrient targets hit. Everything is in the green except cysteine here one of the amino acids. Not a big deal, it's at 94%. Protein, we're at 120% for today. So let's see, at the top of the list was broccoli, cauliflower, oyster mushrooms, goji berries, oranges, cherries, bananas, mung bean sprouts, cucumber, avocado. Let's check out, uh, cysteine is always one that I noticed is a little lower, so let's just look at that and see what was going on there. Okay, broccoli is at the top of the list, and then cauliflower, medjool dates, chia seeds, oranges, cherries, oyster mushrooms, avocado, bananas, dandelion greens. So I would have been able to get over 100% had I not gotten so full today. <laughs> you know, playing with the volumes of food, nutrient density versus calorie density, and trying to find that balance where you're able to fit everything that you need in every day, but not stuff yourself to the point where you can barely move, you know? Or or do the opposite where you, you stuff yourself full of the wrong kind of calories and you max out on calories before you get your nutrients in, you know? It's a lot of fun. I love going over the nutrients and you know, kind of that little challenge at the beginning of every day, the game starts over and okay, how, how many nutrients can I get in today? What, what didn't I get yesterday? Or, you know, how can I eat a wider variety? How can I get more color in my diet? It's just, I don't know, it's just fun, you know? It's, it's like you're more involved with your food, but not just your food, it's the nutrients behind the food that you're trying to get, right? Okay, so let's check out calcium here. 147% today. Top of the list was oranges, broccoli, dandelion greens, celery, cauliflower, chia seeds, medjool dates, goji berries, cucumber. How about iron? 144% today. So let's see what that was. Broccoli at the top of the list, oyster mushrooms, goji berries, dandelion greens, chia seeds, cauliflower, cherries, uh, oh, dulse granules, sea seasonings. Uh, medjool dates, cucumber. Okay, well broccoli, yeah, that's another one that nails all the categories, you know, and it's very high in all the categories too. So ro broccoli is definitely a superfood. How about potassium? 335% today. That's over, that's almost 9,000 milligrams. Cauliflower, top of the list there. Wow, look at that. That was almost 1,000 milligrams right there in cauliflower. Broccoli, right there with it, another 914 milligrams. Bananas, cherries, medjool dates, oranges, oyster mushrooms, celery, avocado, cucumber. Uh, selenium, I'm at 116% today. We know Brazil nuts always top the list at 70%. Um, at, that's only having half of one. Okay, so Brazil nuts, chia seeds, broccoli, oyster mushrooms, bananas, cauliflower, oranges, cucumber, celery, peaches. How about sodium? Without adding any salt, we're at almost a thousand milligrams. Top of the list, celery, heart of palms, broccoli, cauliflower, goji berries, dandelion greens, dulse granules, oyster mushrooms, spinach, zinc, 122%. Let's see about that. Broccoli, again, broccoli for the win in every category. Oyster mushrooms, cauliflower, avocado, cucumber, mung bean sprouts, chia seeds, medjool dates, banana, celery, uh, B12. I took my uh, sublingual B12 spray. That's an everyday thing. I just don't think I filmed it, so I wanted to mention that there. That yes, I do supplement uh, niacin. We're at 176% for niacin. Sometimes I notice niacin it can be like one that runs a little lower, so just curious what's in here. Let's see. Top of the list oyster mushrooms, broccoli, avocado, cauliflower, bananas, medjool dates, peaches, oranges, mung bean sprouts, celery. Mushrooms have a wide variety of nutrients too. They seem to hit a lot of different areas, including protein and you know, the vitamins, the minerals. They're, they're quite uh, widespread across the board here. And look at that, 56% comes from oyster mushrooms. So that's why it was 
extra high there. I forgot to go over the, in the calorie summary, the percentage breakdown here. 76% carbs, 15% fat, and 9% protein. All right guys, I gotta go shower and wash my hair tonight and I will see you bright and early for breakfast in the morning. Bye guys.